Hey, hey. Spring look by Simply Tarot. Okay, this is a special message for the sign of Aries. If you have Aries in your birth chart, this could be a reading for you. we got three cards to fill out. Um, cross watchers, it could be for you. If you're drawn to it, you can take away something. Now, re remember, everyone has free will. So, yeah. Okay, what we got here is we've got um, communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So, something you need to communicate with that's going to be a key to, it feels like resolving something. A fury climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. Something maybe going to get a little fiery for you. Emotions are running high. Super moon. Get ready. The emotions may be off the chart. Quick shuffle. I have pre shuffled. And we'll get into your reading. Aries. Okay. Poor Aries. Look at there. Poor Aries. Poor Aries. We're going to have to. Um, okay. Tell me more. Tell me more for Aries. Special message. Aries, 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 Aries. Okay, I'm about to see these. Okay. Okay. Okay, you need to be manifesting what you want. Um it feels like someone's been sneaky. Someone's done some form of um, sneaky behavior. That could be something, someone that you've been dealing with. But it also is a feeling like wanting to move forward. Um, it feels like with a new beginning with the Ace of Wands being here. you know. But also wanting to have a lot of growth with that you know, uh, being said. And I feel like you have everything you need. With the Magician card being here, you know. Um, as above, so below. You've got everything that you need to make this, whatever this is, go for. Uh, now, we have the Four of Pentacles here. And, you know, <laughs> that's kind of like grasping on to what you have. Um, really holding on to it. It's that type of feeling. Let's see. Wrong one. Okay. Please clarify the Seven of Swords, Spirit. Seven of Swords, please. Okay. Okay. Something, something happened that was deceitful with that Seven of Swords, just like I said. Somebody may have taken something from you. But it landed you to really standing on your own and wanting to, you know, move forward, it feels like. Uh, you got the Knight of Cups here. I feel like that is you just holding up your cup, possibly drinking from your own cup. Um, you know, really doing you right now. Okay. Four Pentacles. Yeah, you've been hurt. There you go. That's it. Okay. Without four of pentacles, you know, you're grasping on the straws, it feels like, on what you what you have. You're you're really holding on to it tight. Um, it feels like someone may have taken something from you. We've got the Queen of Swords, this is reversed. This is not in a very good place. Um, you know yeah. Not in a very good place. So if this is you you know, I feel like that you need to set your sights on really moving forward with your life and what you truly want and not be looking at the past, not be looking at, you know, what what has um, brought you so much pain in your life, you know, what has broke your heart. And you need to, you're going to have to make the decision, it feels like, okay, with the Two of Swords being here, it feels like, you know, um, all is not lost. You have this big decisions to make, and you need to move on it. You need to do it. You need to 
really set um, things in motion and set them forward. Um, you need to give to yourself. You need to give love to yourself. You need to hold yourself up highly. Um, it feels like once you start doing that, once you start really um, doing you, you know, stop letting people run over you, that's when this can happen, you know, if that's what you so want. Um, you know, we've got the Six of Cups here, you know, uh, this could be wanting a soulmate, wanting that special person, wanting things to really just come together, wanting, you know, something to happen. Uh, it can also be about children and, you know, relationships with children, with your children, if you have children. And um, really, you know, loving what you have and being grateful for it, it feels like. Um, so that, you know, things start moving for forward. Yep, chariot. Start moving forward instead of sitting still. It's that type of feeling. Yeah. See, manifest and then watch for it to come. Watch for the blessings to come. Whatever that may be that you're wanting, you know. Um, and for some of you, I feel like it's to heal relationships. It's to make relationships stronger. Yep relationship card to make things you know really relationship stronger you need healing you need uh to make oh my goodness sometimes you know when people get hurt and relationships get hurt and they've not been healed it just it's it doesn't move it doesn't go forward it's got to have okay got to have the healing got to have the healing with the star card to make things to go forward it feels like with this person or with you know, your, um, if this is family or if this is children or if this is romantic related, that, you know, is going to be totally up to you. It's kind of like, um, seeing, seeing, there's, it's about seeing that you're blessed. And then that's when things can, yeah. It's basically going with the flow and seeing that you are blessed. Uh, there will be an extended, the link will be below, and um, until next time, bye.